We're playing some Breath Edge today, as you heard the chickens in the background as we load up this crazy game. Uh, Breath Edge has been basically a fun Subnautica in space, but super trolly and uh, super immature humor, but it's been a lot of fun. And uh, we are just getting into a new chapter of this game today, so we get to explore some space some more. That's basically how you feel middle of the week, you know? You know, I know. I'll, I'll tell you, I'm looking forward to taking a... Taking a little bit of time off in July. That's usually when I take time off because my church job is off in July and my birthday's in July. So I'm thinking I'll probably take a week or so off next month and that'll be a fun break from the grind. Although my grind is a lot more fun than a lot of your grinds probably. Since this is my grind right here. <laughs> Work, you don't know what that is. All right, well that's... Be grateful for that, I guess. Be grateful. Who? But what is what is the the, the 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 thing that people say? If you uh, love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. Sounds like a sounds like propaganda by companies to trick you into working hard for them <laughs> or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm happy to hang out with you, wonderful folks. Uh, I got a I got a gig coming up this Saturday, so I've been working on some music stuff for that. So uh, that'll be that'll be fun to do a little bit of singing. Um. All right, let's see here. So we have a new ship, actually. Uh, this ship... I don't know what this ship is called, but it's got weapons that we can fire. And the little turret spinning around is pretty cool. Um, so at the end of our last stream... Can I turn this? I can turn this one. We docked in there and did some exploring, and the babe girl with some sort of robot was just making, you know, dirty jokes the entire time. Um, can I get out of this thing? I don't know if I can actually get out of this thing, so... Uh, let's see, I guess we explore the question mark here. Check out what we got over here. We got guns, so you know, at least we can fight off stuff. Explore space, create and install a filter system, create and install the navigator. I did get a filter earlier from... What's that up ahead? Place we're exploring. I'm not mistaken, am I? Is it a fully functioning breath edge coffin with hands? We've already seen such coffins, but I doubted it until now. An automatic maintenance team. They can patch us up, but nothing more. We can't get them to completely repair the shuttle. Uh, okay, so I can heal here? Is that what this is? Hey, yeah, our health's going up. Nice. Repairs in progress. Appreciate that. Robots repairing me that I can't see. And what? we're done. Alright. Coffin bot station. I'm gonna guess this has something to do with the robots that are interrogating us in the uh main timeline. What is this? I don't even oh. know what to call them. Oh god. I'm gonna shoot at the red. If I hit the red, will I hit him? Calibrating weapons level one. Oh my gosh. All right, you're trying to talk to me, bro, and I'm in the middle of a dog fight. So it's kind of worthless. Here, I'm going to make stupid jokes while you're fighting for your life. Thanks. Appreciate it. That's really helpful right now. It's, uh... Okay, it looks like I need to aim at the little red square and I can maybe hit them. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. All of a sudden, I'm playing a dog fighting game. Oh, how many of these things are there? Oh, jeez. Okay, holy crap. The red diamond in front shows you how much you got to lead the target. Okay. Well, uh, these things going to keep coming or what? I don't even know. Achievement unlocked. Great. Oh, man. I've taken a lot of damage. Where's that repair facility? Uh, oh, geez. Where was it? It's down here. This thing. I've taken a lot of damage. Are these guys going to keep following me or what? I wonder. Oh, God. I'm taking damage. Taking damage. Oh, jeez. Oh. 
am I gonna die? I wish I had like a boost or something. I'm Bob and Weave. This is no X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, it feels like. Okay. Jeez, 94 health. Let me repair. Okay, repairing. Will you fight me while I'm repairing? Can I shoot this thing from far away, I wonder? Looks like no. Holy crap. All right, well, I'm going to save before we go back out here again because I was not expecting that. Save game. Holy shnikes. Hey, thanks for the 20 months, Nietzsche. Holy crap, man. Achievement unlocked big machine gun. That's right. Oh, I can shoot this thing. Okay. I think I'm doing damage to it. All right, station's down. Now kill off these guys and hopefully we'll be good. Trying to shoot the little red square, got him. Guy over here. Got that guy. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't die earlier. There are a lot of these freaking bots here, okay. Okay, getting better at this, I guess. Yeah, coffins totally shouldn't attack people. I agree with that statement. Pew pew, yes, we are pew pewing to start the day. I did not know that the first thing I'd be doing would be playing a uh, dog fighting simulator game in space. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh. Okay. Wow, it's been a long time since I've played a game like this. Okay, well, we destroyed the coffin. Uh, spawner? Was this spawning them? Holy crap. All right, let's go. Let's go repair again. Because, uh... It's freaking me out. Oh my god, this guy's voice just is just the more I listen to it, the more it grates on me. Especially when he's talking to me while I'm in the middle of a damn fight for my life. I'm gonna make a joke and blah, 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 blah. Could you just shut up for like five seconds, man? Seriously. Repairs are complete. I'm like literally getting shot by flying coffins right now. Could you not make stupid jokes at this time? Uh okay, this is the closest question mark we got. Let's go check this out, I guess. Oh boy, man. Shuttle weapons level two. How did they get upgraded? Is that because I got killed? Did I level up my weapons or something, I wonder? Doesn't seem like I have a boost or anything on this. It doesn't seem like I can get out of this either. So I guess I'm stuck in here right now. We're kind of... This is the kind of things I don't like in... Um, games is on rails you're forced to do this before you can actually go back to you know open world stuff again but uh hopefully at least this will be fun and i don't die i guess let me keep let me save over and over i'm gonna save scum because this seems like something that's gonna kill us over and over we fight a bunch more of these coffin bots Okay. It is rather peaceful out here though. According to the number, this is one of the dome cooling modules. The extremely low temperatures overboard and the huge volumes of working fluids allowed the modules to maintain almost any temperature in the shell of the cores without unnecessary energy consumption. We could use something like this for the damaged core of Normandy. Okay. If only I could get out of my ship. Which I don't know how to do. An external docking airlock. You can get inside from here. Or okay. Rather, you could get inside if you could break all this ice. All right, so destroy the ice to get inside. Maybe. You can dock now. Okay. All right. So no exploring this area in my suit. It seems like it's all it's all flying around in a ship and then docking. It seems like. Oh, my God. 
Uh, I need to have certain stuff. Gravity module. Anything that's important, I need to not throw on the ground here. What's this thing right there? Gravity module. Yeah, so I just threw a bunch of crap on the ground because we just have too much crap. So what I'm going to do is... What's the least important stuff here? I'm going to throw my spacesuit somewhere else. Filters, gra non conductive gel, gravity modules. This stuff will keep with us. Holy crap! Turn it off! Jesus! Oh my god, that sound. Okay, we're gonna have to throw that. That is not a song I need to be listening to right now. Jeez, freaking hell. Okay, uh, construction modules. Okay, let's go explore here. I have no detailed information about the Linus cooling system in my database, but I'm sure you'll have to find something and break something. Okay. Uh, with my hammer. Looks like no. Okay. So everything's frozen in here. Big blocks of ice. I wonder if you can call icicles icicles in zero gravity. Technically, they form in a different way, which means they must have another name. Orbicles, for example, or uh, expandicles, versticles, pressuricles. I don't know. I'll allocate one of my processors for generating the name, perhaps. Can I use this? Looks like somebody died while trying to use that. Okay. Frozen door. Okay. Random materials that will overflow our inventory again, but you know what? We'll have lots of stuff. I have a light, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. So you just like sat there waiting to get frozen? Okay, not not sure I dig I uh, buy that, but cool. I'm dead in ice because I couldn't be bothered to move. It's too much work to move, so I sat here while I froze to death. What a way to go, man. What a way to go. All right, my eyes are killing me. So lately I got... I ordered some new glasses because these glasses are old and they're missing one of the nose guards. And I stepped on them while working out the other day. So they're bent and uncomfortable. So I am with bated breath waiting to get new glasses I ordered online in the next couple days, hopefully. More dead robots. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to fight these coffin bots or whatever. It looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. It's locked. Can I use this to... No, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So I got no key. Alright. Do that. Gravity module seems like something I should keep. And we are out of space again, so I'm gonna leave light bulbs behind. Sure, we'll take a magnet. So it is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here. And according to my data, there were many of them. Let's take lycoplasm. Uh what am I gonna drop? Uh let's see, drop some plastic. Take the lycoplasm. Wire, we got wire. Alright, let's what do we got here? Okay, we got people in cold storage or something. Tank with gel. I feel like I'm going to want what's in here. So what can I drop? Magnet. And we'll drink some water. Okay, how do I extract with this? There it is. Okay. All right, so much stuff that I can't carry. Why can't I carry all this stuff? Corpse. All right. They're just... Blunt force trauma to the head. Nothing interesting here. Blunt... <laughs> a bunch of dead bodies. Okay. Cool. Not a morbid game at all. The deceased didn't walk away on their own. <laughs> no zombies, please. Okay. That guy had some sunken cheekbones, that's for sure. That guy has scissors in his head. It is sewed together, taped together. Okay. 
Don't know if I should actually be opening these. Okay. Aluminum. Do I have aluminum? I'll take the aluminum, actually. Okay. This folder could be named in your honor. Just look at all the stuff it destroyed. Okay. Alkali. Oh, that opens for us. Okay. Uh, what's over here? What can I get over here? Right, is this an invisible wall, or can I? All right, invisible wall, my favorite type of wall. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can get up here, all right. And I can even breathe up here. What's going on over here? Turn valve. No what it is or how it works. Examine the refrigerators. Ow. Ow! Okay. Apparently it's really hot. Jesus. Well, I almost died. Uh, I don't have my temperature suit with me. Because the game forced me to come here and didn't let me choose what I brought with me, pretty much. Scan refrigerator. Despite the damage, the nitrogen valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, so I guess I gotta fix that before I try to go through, I guess is what it's telling me. Refined metal, I would like that, actually. Come here, refined metal. Ah, uh, what is this thing floating right here? Evidence. It's a shoe. Okay, it's cool. From these remains. Okay, so we need to, I think, fix this or something? I guess I gotta fix something or something. All right, let's go back down here, I guess. Okay, let's see what's in here. Everything is blocked with ice further on. It's unlikely we'll be able to break through. Of course there's a hand coming out of it. You know? Of course. Okay, what can we drop? Anything? Do we have any extra tools? I don't know. I'd kind of like to keep refined metal more than regular metal, so I'll just take that. All right. Dead thing here. Navigation chip. These seem important, so I'm going to take things like this. Navigation chip. Electronics. Okay. Your head is missing. Cool. Alright. Dead bodies. Dead bodies. Might be the game with the most dead bodies where I don't kill anything I've ever played. Interesting. New movies. A game on a throne. Has no wow. External injuries. He's healthier than you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, I can extract it up that, but I got no inventory space. And a carbon. Okay. Wow. Case in carbonite. I can't imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. Okay. So we're unlocking like something at least. Or stupid poisoning as he ate a hamster. Okay, wire. All right. All right, so we're unlocking a refrigerator unit or something. Cooling system blueprint. Okay. All right, so I came from there, so I guess it's in here next, right? Oh, uh, this is where I was earlier that I came through that other direction. Okay. Can I get through here, I guess, is the question. Does this open? It does not. Okay, there's something over this way. If I can find it. How did I get through here this way? Okay, it looks like I missed something over here. Okay, what is this? Something I need to scan? 
refrigerator. Very interesting. The design of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. Okay. Looks now like it's... I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems, even though I don't have an engineering chip installed in me. All that's left is to study the cooling system controller and figure out where to get the working fluid. Then we can assemble a cooling unit for Normandy. Simple as pie. Now it's clear how to disable the flow of nitrogen. It's okay. Now can I use this? Turn the A02 valve all the way to the right, then the three nitrogen reduction valves. Turn the B6 valve to the left at a 30 degree angle. Don't forget to depressurize the valve. Okay. Or like this. All right, time to check the dome. Great. Great. Good joke, man. Good joke. Don't do the thing. Wow. We're looking for some sort of a uh box? No. Probably a computer or a room or maybe a data block or a barrel with a button. I haven't fully studied what it should look like. Wait a second. This mosaic. So that's why your relative's face seems so familiar to me. A brilliant engineer, one of the creators of the core and the father of artificial intelligence. It's him. Amazing. Are you sure you're not adopted? The crew was killed shortly before the crash. They didn't even have anything to defend themselves with. According to some sketchy fragments of data, I assume that it might be the office of your grand. I am 41 already. I am. He was supposed to be on board the liner. How do I? What the hell? Where am I supposed to go? What do you mean I'm 41? I'm not 41. Is that something in the game? Oh wait, can I go down in here? Okay, looks like I can go down in here. Okay. Oh, you're talking about my. You're talking about. Wow. Okay. Yes. <laughs> An it's like I turn 40 next month. I'm not 41. God. Or if you'll have to search the bodies. Okay. Can I. Why do you say handy scrapper? Uh, okay. Jeez. I have to search the bodies. I have to go back and. Look for something. Oh, what's in here? Oh, analyze. I need the soil sampler thing, I think. Soil analyzer. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Then why did I need to come inside of here? I don't understand. Oh, I have to probably scan all of these. Okay. Untreated wick solids detected. Solids detected. Okay. Okay, this thing. Solids detected. All right, so I need to take this pass, but I have no inventory space, so I got to get rid of I don't know plastic or something, and let's take the pass. Take it. Ceased is on the ship's crew list. I've checked. I don't know why though. Okay. But yes, I I I got a couple levels last night. Although, I might slow down because my brother is not able to play. You know, we'll see. What is this? Alkali. Okay. So, does this let me do this now that I have this guy's, whatever it's called, pass or thing here? It's a good thing you only need a pass from a corpse, but not the corpse itself. Yeah, it's a great thing. I wonder if I can drop this now. I, I probably need to hold on to it, though. Although, with all this food and water... I'll take one of those. Apparently your grandpa was supposed to fly as a crew member and monitor the core's activity. Hey, what's up, Reaper Man? How are you doing? Talk to him. You were thinking of catching your lockup now that you can wear plate? That's a good idea. I was thinking of playing my priest some while I wait for Steven to get his computer situation figured out. Since I can now wear mail. Alright, what do we got in here? That looks like All the equipment was destroyed, and someone took all the data energy blocks. core. Yes, that will probably be useful here. Okay. You've not seen this before? This game is Subnautica in space with a ridiculous... Um, trolley sense of humor, pretty much, is how I would describe this game. Someone's been looking for something here. I wonder what it was. 
Examine Ricky. Okay. All right, let's see here. I can get in there. Clay chicken. Okay. You don't know Hypnotica. Subnautica. It's a underwater exploration base building game. And this is a space exploration base building game. Can I get in here? Looks like no. I mean, to give you a sense of the idea, the sense of humor, if I press F, I just start peeing. You just pee on things. I'm in a spacesuit, so I don't know how that works. But that is that is the give you an idea of the sense of humor of this ridiculous Most game. Likely, the liner's core was remotely controlled from here, but someone broke everything. And a guy died on the toilet. Big surprise. Okay. Good looking game. Yeah, it's it, it's a. Uh, the graphics are really nice, especially once you get outside. A filter. I think I do need this. Drop titanium. And I need, I think, my magnetic key, I think. Repair tool. Okay. Nice. Filtration system. Apricot. In a jar or in a thing. Okay. Tickets to something. I don't know. Anything important here? No? Okay. Alright. Juvenile. Who are the devs? Um, some Russian team. This, uh, this was a game that was created in Russia. That's about all I know. Let me take this. Let me use it. And then maybe pick these things back up. Because I think both these are going to be useful. I think the controller must be here somewhere. Um, I enjoy this game more when I... I'm in the open world part of the game where you get to explore and build. Currently, we're in a portion of the game I told you it looked like, uh, this. Um, where it's like kind of forcing us to be on rails to get to the, unlock the next section kind of thing. Either the controller is broken or we don't have access. In any case, I only need to examine its internals, so I suggest using a handy scrapper. So just start breaking these things, I think. But the game's called Breath Edge, so you can look up the devs yourself if you're really curious. Wow, this is taking a lot of hits with my hammer here. Let's hope I don't get attacked by something here. I've only had to really fight stuff when we're floating in space or when we are in our ship that's got a bunch of guns, so I don't think we'll get attacked here. Um, not anymore. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. And then this last guy here. I really feel like they could have done this without me having to whack that quite so many times. I've made a blueprint of the cooling unit. You can feel how hot my logic board is. No less than 85 degrees. Okay. Touch the circuit board. I knew you would say no. It's hot, isn't it? Just like Normandy's core, which we need to cool down already. I don't get it. I'm making jokes, I don't know. I found out where to find the working fluid for the cooling unit, but you are unlikely to like it. In any case, we will need a drill and moral depravity. Okay. Well, we have to drill inside somebody's body or something stupid. That, that would be my guess. Okay. So it's over this direction. Okay. Have I been in here? I have been in here, yeah. Well, I have a drill, and this game is slowly running down on my moral depravity, so I think we'll be fine. The SOH tells you enough. What's I don't know what SOH is. Okay, let's see. Stop thinking about your brilliant relative. He clearly worked here and designed many of the liner's systems. Could the accident have been caused by someone who needed his body or the data from his office? Okay, so I can go... Can I go down here? Looks like I can go down here. Okay, yes, this is where I came from. Yes, that's okay. right. The working fluid is inside of them in the area of the bladder. We really need it, but they don't. Alright, so I'm going to be drilling into these bodies, apparently. Another elderly so. person with cardiac failure. I don't envy their funerary spacesuits. Must be so stressful for them. Okay, so I think what I'm going to be doing is drilling into bodies. I believe that's what I'm doing next. 
Okay, drill into a corpse. How many of these do I have to get? Just... Working fluid. Okay. Doesn't tell me how many I need. So I guess I'll get a bunch of them. I assumed, since I was able to open these earlier, that I would have to do something with these bodies. No idea what the hell this is, but okay. Alright, so let's see here. I believe I now just need to leave, I think. The coolant is urine. Ah, is that what it is? I mean, was that supposed to be their bladder? Is that is that what that the idea behind this is? I don't know how many of these I'll need, so I guess I'll get one more. Not enough space. Okay, that's hopefully will be enough. Oh, SOH equals sense of humor. I've never heard that shortened to that, but okay, yes. The sense of humor tells you all you need to know about this game. Good. It should, for sure. Yeah, the guy did say something about the bladder. I don't know if that's what a bladder really looks like, but I... You know, I don't really need to know what a bladder really looks like. You enjoy my FTL streams? Well, thanks, Reaper. Appreciate it. I'll be playing some more of that tomorrow, so... One more loop. Uh, Five Boy has got the loop hero. Uh, the loop hero bug, it sounds like. Okay, so. Filtration system. So create a cooling unit. Can I now do that? Equipment. Cooling unit. Working fluid four. I needed four of them, and I got three. Of course I did. All right, well, I got to throw a bunch of junk on the ground. Uh, I can make a generator. Oh, man, there's just uh, so much crap. I have to... Just no freaking room. All right, so generator is what? Uh, generator is... I need two metal and a wire. Wire and metal, and there's metal in here. Metal. Okay, so this should be generator. How am I enjoying this game? It's pretty fun. I'm I'm a less fan, less less a fan of these sections I'm in right now, which is basically on rails, advancing advancing the story because I don't really care about the story and the guy who talks to you is annoying as hell. But when I'm in the open world building and exploring part, it's great. All right, so non-conductive gel. I think I found some of this, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so let me throw in the gravity modules, the filters, things I think are going to be important into here. This, these guys. All right, so gel, non-conductive gel. Looks like this, and I think I can go get some more. I'm going to need one more working fluid, it looks like. I wonder if there's more gel on the ground here. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay. So I think all I need is one more fluid, and I'm good here. Yeah, so if I go get one more fluid, I should be able to make this thing. And I'm not going to get extra, because I have a feeling this is the only thing in the game I'm going to need this for. So You guessed they should have got Sean Bean like Civ 6. Ah. Uh, what, did, did Sean Bean do the voiceover in that game or something? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would be more dramatic. This guy's supposed to be funny, and I think that's what's bugging me. Is He's supposed to be funny, and the sense of humor in this game just, I guess, isn't right up my alley. Okay, I already got that. All right. I feel like there was one of those that I missed that I kind of want to get while I'm here. I'm sure the sense of humor in this game is great to some people. It's just not not my kind of humor, but the gameplay is my kind of gameplay. So we suffer through the humor to play the game. Now, where is the... Uh, there was a tube in a corner somewhere where I could get some more something gel. This right here. Yes tank with gel. I have a feeling that's going to be needed for 
other things coming up. So I wanted to get that while I was here. Gravity modules for sure I want to take. I have like plenty of food and water. I guess I'll grab that. Okay. Now is there another one of these tanks in here that I can extract from? There is not. It does not look. It does not appear to be so. It's more food. I'll take metal. Okay. Evidence. I don't care about whatever joke that's making. Okay. Oh, let me through. Okay. So we should be able to make the coolant module, which is to keep our. Uh, is a cooling unit for the ship I'm in or for the ship I'm trying to repair? I don't even know because I think the Normandy... I think the Normandy might be the ship I'm flying around right now. I think that might be called the Normandy. As you can tell, I'm not really paying attention to the story very much. So, <laughs> I'm like, what ship am I on? What am I doing? What am I repairing? Is there a point to all this? You wait for some narrative before you judge and give your opinion on better choices, if any. Okay. All right, let's see here. Well, just listen to the guy talk. That is the narrative. So, all right, let's see here. This is equipment, items, cooling unit. Here we go. When installing it, don't touch the core shell. All right, thanks for that tip. All right, uh, am I installing it into here? Cooling unit. There we go. Great, it works. At least now you won't get fried inside of me and smear my lining with your combustion residue. Great. Okay, so we fixed that. I'm going to assume that was the goal of this place. I'm going to go clear out more inventory and just throw crap on the ground because that's what we do in this game right now. Pretty sure I don't need this pass anymore, so I'm going to throw it here too. This, 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 this. There's lots of junk thrown on the ground. I threw it on the ground. Light bulb, battery, and let me throw this stuff in here. This, this, this. All right, we're full up on stuff, and that's our pile of trash. Okay, so let's see if we get attacked by robots again. I tried to track the flight path of your relative's body using the information in the coffins we opened earlier. He disappeared right after you lost him. Moreover, the other coffins didn't receive either any signal about the destruction of the coffin or its coordinates. The basic story of the game... Oh, God, babe is talking to us again. Is that our our dad or our grandpa was in a coffin, and we're we lost him when the ship crashed, and now we're trying to fix the ship or something. Okay, uh, where do we need to go next? That place is. Let's see which place is closest. Let's go over here, I guess. Okay. Coffin bot station, so I need to destroy this. We're about to get attacked, I believe. Did I do any damage to that? I didn't. Where's the actual station I need to kill? You would love to hear Nathan Fillion, the guy who voices Clay 6 in Destiny 2. He might do it better. Okay. Uh, we get attacked if we go there. Uh, okay, killed that guy. Oh, man, these things freak me out because last time I almost died fighting one of these things. Maybe if I kill them one at a time, I won't die. Okay. Okay. Problem is, I don't think I can kill them one at a time because I'm pretty sure they come in waves. Okay. Okay, so my weapons are getting upgraded by doing this, it seems like. Okay, I need to kill the station itself. 
The thing in the middle, there it is. I need to kill this, and I think they will stop spawning. There we go. I think they'll stop spawning now. Now I need to kill them before I die. My weapons are getting stronger, so that's cool. Yeah, they're dying quicker now. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Shades of, you know, Elite Dangerous or, uh, I guess No Man's Sky have a, has a similar type of thing. Come on. We played the No Man's Sky uh, themed ship yesterday, so we're going to get some No Man's Sky esque combat here, I guess, here. Okay, I think we killed all those guys. Did a quick Google on this game and noticed a couple people complain about the narrator cracking wise and being distracting from the game. Yes, yes. It's, it's never ending. It's, I mean, it's just, it's the humor of the game, but, um,. It can be quite annoying because it often distracts what you're trying to actually get done in the game, so... Yeah, for sure. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It's like, I'm trying to do surgery right now. Hey, look at that spleen! It looks like a inflated tea bag. You know, it's like... It's not helpful. See, like, just these comments like this. Like, you know, I could could turn you off and I'd probably... Uh, Enjoy the game more, but the, the problem is he sometimes gives you information you need so you can't turn them off. <laughs> like the guy that says 5,000 useless things, but one thing is useful, so you gotta listen to all the 400,000, 000, I, I don't know math. But you know, you gotta listen to the crap. You gotta wade through the crap to get the useful stuff. He's like you, that's exactly right. <laughs> Alright, how do we dock here? Uh, it says we can dock here. Where? Uh, what does the docking station actually look like? Looks like it's not on the bottom of this. Pretty bad signal to noise. Yes, lots of noise, not a lot of signal, I guess. It says we can dock here. Where the hell do I dock? Is it over on the edge over here? Okay, I think it's this little round thing. Huh. Not very clear where the uh, docking is. Okay. Alright, did I clear out my inventory? Pretty much I did, yes. Uh, I'm gonna drink this, and I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna just eat this. We're gonna probably get five thousand things of water and food in here, so I should be good to not take extra food and water with me. Okay. Without a doubt, it's a luxury habitation module. Luxury, so luxurious. Okay. I've no desire to open the coffin, but now I'm sure they work on the energy produced by the decomposing bodies in them. It's disgusting and brilliant at the same time. So these coffins that are the bad guys are using the energy of the dead bodies inside of them to move or something benefits of being a vegetarian for rabbits okay cool he was shot everywhere by the way that's banana frank he's presumably one of the leaders of the green universe he is banana frank his name is banana frank what's wrong with your name okay i can't do that Inventory already full. Cool. All right. Um, just drink this, and we'll start being a little more careful with what we pick up, I guess. Uh, here we go. We can pee in the toilet. There we go. Make use of that. All right, where did I come from? I came from that way. We got a piano. 
pick the resin, sure. Uh, what's in here? What's up, Tim Tam? How are you doing, my friend? What a big corpse. I won't be able to scan his face since it's no longer there, but I can assume from his shape that it's the head of the Green Universe Department on Kepler 62, Fat Jim. Fat Jim, alright. Uh, generator for sure we want to take, so this. Condensed milk. Okay. Grass. Okay. And, okay. Milko, sweet space treat. Okay. Condensed milk. That must be a favorite thing to eat in, in Russia, because... I find that in so many games where we were were in, well, this game was made in Russia, but uh, games where it's like cold, like what was that game? The North. Oh, uh, what was that game where I played where it's like freezing cold and you're trying to survive outside and it's, everything's really slow? The Northern something Someone I forget. Dragged out into the corridor. Okay. Click edge two. Ultimate Unlimited Remastered Edition. Cool. All right. This door broken. Okay. Both corpses belong to the leaders of the Green Universe. I have the impression that all the important people of this organization were flying in this module. Okay. Uh, extract. Uh, repair tool. All right. We got these filtration systems, which are needed. So that's good. So the coffins killed all the people, I think, is what we're learning. The coffins came to life and killed everybody. A bro broccoli plush. Okay. All, look at all this stuff I can't hold. I feel like I might need cans of beef or something, so I'm going to drop uh, plastic. Those are used for grenades. Eat like a cow, be like a cow. Okay. Okay, so we came from that direction. They both Navigation spies, chip. So I haven't fully figured out which part of the coffin should be shot through to disable it. Okay. The coffins are killing people. And they captured captured us. This is us telling the story to the coffins is what the I gameplay actually is. Here. He was dragged out of the cabin unlock the door. A retinal scan is an extremely unpleasant method of data protection, especially for the owner of the retina. Okay. Balaclava. What is a balaclava? I don't know what that is. You can use the coffin as a ramp to jump over. I can just go around. <laughs> I could try. A green universe logo. It's rather peculiar, I must say. If you were playing this game, you'd run back and forth collecting loot. Yeah, yeah, if I was feeling completionist, for sure. It's locked from the inside and welded shut from the outside. This type of door is unfamiliar to me. It's probably some military project. Um, but you can usually just get more resources if you just go to the next areas. So that's why I'm not doing it. And since I don't even have the storage for all this stuff, eh. It looks like all the doors are locked and I don't know how to open them. That guy's body is green. Are you doing push-ups? Robot tried to make itself quiet, but it only burned out. By the way, the coffins clearly don't have external charging ports. Literally don't have external charging ports. Okay. Uh, baklava is better. What? Oh, is that what it means? Better? Oh, is he a Zoltan? Yes. Okay, we want that. Energy cores are useful. Okay. This door is also unfamiliar to me, but it's clearly from a different series. Yeah, there's there's so many resources. I would go crazy if I was trying to collect them all. Circular saw. Okay. Casing. 
this man clearly knew about the weak point in the door's design and tried to open it. I okay. So I need to make a saw. And get under the dome. And I can get through here. Okay. Alright, so it looks like this is the first we can go. So we gotta run back to our ship. Make a saw. New, new... Uh, tool, I guess. Baklava is a Turkish dessert. Oh, okay, you never like seeing too much of the hands when you're running games. <laughs> Good morning, by the way. What's up, Chuck Friggin' Norris? How are you doing? Uh, considering he didn't explode, your guess is that he's half human, half mantis, looking at his skin color. Half human, half mantis for the green guy? Okay. It's Agent Smith, the mantis who thinks he's a human. Oh, let's see. I know, oh my god, it's Chuck Frickin' Norris, he exists! Uh... Baklava is a Tur Turkish dessert, and it's stupid sweet. I don't think I've ever had it. Uh, or maybe I have. Is that like layers of pastry with some sort of syrupy thing or something? I feel like I might have had it once. I'm pretty sure I've seen it made in uh, cooking contests when they have to like make a dessert or something using a pastry. With chopped nuts and sweetened with syrup or honey. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we've learned to make a saw drill. So I need two thick electrical tape. Alright, everything else I have. I saw all my stuff moving for a second there. My inventory is just completely filled. I'll throw crap on the ground. This is, uh, Vancho, if you were taking the time to pick up everything, this is what you'd have to do all the time. <laughs> Just constantly clear your inventory. All right, what did I need? Um, two titanium and two thick electrical tape. All right. Two titanium, two thick electrical tape. Go. So let us make the saw drill. Subnautica in space. That's basically what this game is. Subnautica in space with a really ridiculous, goofy, over-the-top comedy um, um, storytelling style, I guess you could say. All right, so I want to keep the important things. Filters, those guys in here. And everything else, we're just throwing it on the ground right now because I got no space. I mean, half my inventory is filled with just tools, so. Throw the, that thing there. Okay, generator. I'm gonna throw that in here. I did not mean to drop it on the ground. This in here. Where'd that generator go? Yes, useful stuff. Fully made stuff will go in here. Everything else is just in a pile of crap on the ground. <laughs> pile of crap, and that's with me skipping half the stuff I could pick up right there. You love humor in dark games? Well, this game's not that dark. But the humor... Here's the humor. You see you see what I'm about to do? Look at this thing. I can pee on it. This is... This is... It's juvenile humor. So... It's, it's a little... Maybe different than the humor you might expect. Yeah. It's, um... More ridiculous, goofy... Uh... Immature humor. So the gameplay's fun. The story is tongue-in-cheek ridiculous, and uh, we're kind of stuck in one of the parts of the game where we have we're forced to get get through um, not the most fun part of the game. I would say the the forced storytelling part of the game, rather than the uh, open world exploration type of game. What is that? You read my instructions, didn't you? All right, let's see. So we need to cut open something. Okay. It is over here. Here it is. Okay, how does this work? Saw. Okay. The door is loose. Just kick it out. Okay. 
Of course, of course, yes. That is. I was expecting a slightly different result, but this will do as well. All right, the wall fell off after we they fixed the hinges. Cool. The inside, but they got badly injured and lost too much blood. Gravity module. Okay. Kind of a leisure suit, Larry meets Subnautica in space. Yeah, I guess you could say it like that. Although I would feel Leisure Suit Larry is a little funnier than this one is. Although Leisure Suit Larry's I'm gonna say more sexual in nature. Oh god, is this guy shooting a gun? Okay. Um like crap. Um can I shoot this gun with my gun? Team and unlock sharpshooter. I feel like this is not going to work. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to kill him that way. So let's go the long way around, I guess. Use the trees to block us or something. Okay. Oh, we got a big ship here. Oh, I was hitting him actually. Okay. Exodus. Okay. Take orders to the activists didn't have this, this ticket. It's unlikely that they would have agreed to be disposed of, and the binary code in the note raises the question, who was this note intended for? If I cared about the story, maybe I'd care. Careful. Active anti-asteroid protection. We could use it, by the way. Active anti-asteroid. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so something shoot. Okay, that's like a turret. And it said I need to bypass it without breaking it. It says, so I can't shoot this one. It looks like. Can I get over this thing? Can I go around this? Sneak around the back. Looks like no. Looks like it's not gonna let me over this thing. Okay, um, I guess I can come back around the other side. Maybe? Maybe I can sneak around right next to it. Whew! Okay. Compensator. Oh, geez, okay. Oh man, this looks bad. I'm gonna save and hopefully not die. Here we go. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Okay. All right, we're not dead. That's good. Not being dead is the goal. Oh, uh, there's a thing in here. How the hell do I get up here? These guys are gonna shoot me some more, aren't they? Can I go in here? Here. Nice. They are designed to power light weapons. Okay, what do we got here? Short circuit. <laughs> Using a chicken. I wanted to ask you for a long time about your warm relationship with the chicken, but I won't say anything. By the way, the anti-asteroid protection is deactivated. Alright, good. So they will stop shooting at us, thankfully. Any other materials? Okay. Yes, yeah, so one of our main tools is a chicken on a stick as well. So, again, this is uh, a unique sense of humor in this game. That is for sure. All right, so these things stop shooting at us now. The shuttle and... registration number is hidden. Given that the leaders of the green universe were in the habitation module, there was someone even worse here. Anti-asteroid. Okay. What led me to this game? Uh, I feel like somebody recommended it, but I've been I've been playing Subnautica before this, so I was since I was just getting ready to play Subnautica and I saw this game, I was like, oh, this looks like Subnautica in space, which looks like a lot of fun. Um, I didn't realize the sense of humor is so ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, more food, battery, spacesuit. Okay. It could be that Frederick is ill, but it's more likely that someone had killed him long before the liner took off. Voice synthesizer. Um, okay. Like someone was simply using the green universe activists, and none of the orders came from Mr. Momoni at all. Okay. Well, this is pretty dark. Like, they tore out his larynx and... We're giving orders using his voice or something. Gross. Yes. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, and then we can extract the filter from this. I think we'll soon have enough filters to remake our filtration system, I believe. Okay. All right, is that everything from here? I think it is. Extra water, but we got so much water. I don't know if I need to pee in here for some reason. Okay, this is actually doing something. <laughs> okay, this is the first time that peeing on something has been useful. What is this going to do? Make it flush? I don't know. Uh, it gave me plastic. Okay. All right. Some unknown people who control the coffin. Sounds like a B action movie script. Yep. Uh, is there a dead cow over here? Yeah, I think there's a dead cow over here. He didn't even spare the cows. Yes, they killed the cows. Okay. Uh, is this electronics? Taking some free electronics is definitely not not a bad thing. This game definitely has some kill all humans vibe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? This game, I just realized you saying that very much reminds me of that. Um, what was that movie in the 90s? Mars Attacks. Over the top, ridiculous violence with ridiculous humor. It's, it's got a definite vibe of Mars Attacks. All right, so I think we're able to make something now. I want to believe that Rethage is not involved in all this, but I must inform you that when you signed the contract for the funeral, you agreed to everything in the terms of service. To absolutely everything. All right, pick up this titanium we dropped earlier. Extra metal, inventory's full, okay. All right, how do we get out of here? This way? I think this is right. Yeah, this is Despite right. Despite the obvious signs of some large-scale conspiracy, I still have the feeling that the catastrophe was accidental. I can't figure out what the hypothetical terrorists might have gained from the complete destruction of the liner. Most likely, the activists of the Green Universe were following orders to capture the liner and then simply screwed up, which is confirmed by some of our findings. Okay, so... We, um, let's see, examine the unknown module. Where is it telling me to do this? Uh, in my ship, I think. Install a filter system. I think we might actually have the stuff to make a filter system for, basically, through all this ridiculousness that we're doing, we're trying to upgrade our current ship to allow us to have more control over where it can go and stuff, I believe. All right, filter, gravity module. Um... What can I throw out of here? Some metal, I guess. So I can throw in the, like, navigation chips. And then time to throw more crap on the ground. Um, okay, spacesuit I don't think is needed. Wire, all this stuff. I'm going to just use that. Throw in all our junk on the ground. Okay, let's throw some more stuff on the ground here. Okay, throw these guys in here. Uh, okay, everything else I think I can throw on the ground here. 
I don't think this voice synthesizer is going to be important. So throwing this on the ground. Looks like inventory management is a thing. Some survival horror elements. Well, the, the reason I play this game is because there's a there's survival and exploration and open world to it. It doesn't look like it right now because we're kind of forced into doing all this story stuff right now to upgrade our ship. But my uh, favorite part of the game has actually been um, when I was base building in the previous chapter and exploring and stuff. So looks like I need to make... Anti-asteroid protection, navigator, and filtration systems. Let's do these one at a time. I have a compensator. So I need two microplasm. This microplasm. There's lycoplasma. This microplasm. Have I seen that? What is microplasm? Microplasm times two. I don't think I've seen that. I made the cooling unit. Can I make the navigator? I can make this. Four navigation chips, two electronics, two light bulbs. Okay. Four navigation chips. Um, four electronics? I would have said. Equipment, items, Two electronics, two light bulb, two refined metal. I'm gonna have to dig through this crap on the ground to find two light bulbs. All right, uh, I need light bulbs now. Now this is the fun part, trying to find crap in here. Oh Jesus, I just gotta start picking up crap now. Looking for a light bulb. Did we once have quality options? Yes, uh, yes, people keep asking about that. It's Something I have no control over. It's completely random from Twitch if I get quality options. If you're not a partner, you don't get guaranteed quality options. So I wish I had control over that. I have no control over that. Yeah, it's, it's a roulette. Okay. Um, light bulb. This is why I wish I had storage. You know, I have these refined metal. Uh, I think I can make... I don't even know if I have collected two light bulbs. Can I make a um, suitcase? I can. I'm going to throw crap on the ground and make a suitcase because I'm so sick of this inventory management. BS, man. Okay, let's make a suitcase. Hashtag blame Shogi. Reminds you of scrap mechanic now that you think about it? Scrap mechanic, huh? Okay. Throw this on the ground. Okay. Pick up all this crap, throw it into a storage thing. We're going to fill up the storage way faster than we can actually... Um, you know, make enough storage for it, but... At least we'll have a little bit of less crap on the ground. Okay, so I'm looking for two light bulbs and all this crap. Uh, can you make light bulbs? I don't think you can. I think I have to actually just find those. I know I had at least one somewhere here. Probably in this corner pile of stuff. Nope, oh, I see one. There's one light bulb. There's a second light bulb. We got it. Okay. Item... I thought I picked up two. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I ran out of space. Okay. Electrical tape. No, not the scraper. Although I don't think I need that. Okay. Lead. Okay. I think I'm just missing one light bulb. Did I not see a second light bulb? I thought I saw another one. I'm going to have to go in and pick up another one from somewhere. There's no light bulb in here, is there? Does not look like it. So I need one more light bulb from somewhere. Oh, fun with inventory management simulator. Do, 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 do. All right, so we're already full on that storage. Was there another light bulb here? If not, I'm searching for a freaking light bulb, I guess. Uh, I... Man, 
mind. I was sure I saw a second one. It must have been something else that just looked like it. Let me go see if there are any light bulbs in here anywhere. Yeah, but sorry about the no quality options. I wish I wish I had some control over it. But I would have to have more consistent viewership to get partner. And, you know, that's always the goal of every affiliate streamer. And we have just never gotten there. Not yet, anyway. One day, maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. All right, so where is a freaking light bulb? I need a light bulb. I know I saw a couple somewhere and I left them because I didn't think I'd need a bunch of light bulbs. Uh, it's food. It's water. Grass. That's not a light bulb. You should count it at least two viewers, Byboy says. Why? <laughs> uh, are you a robot? Are you a viewbot? If you include viewbots, I guess maybe so. Because you're awesome. Okay. Well, then everybody that watches my stream should count as at least two. So if we have 20 viewers, it's like more like 40 viewers, right? Magnet. Because if you're watching my stream, light bulb, there it is. Then you are worth eight viewers. Truth. Absolute truth. That's right. All right. So this will let us make the navigation system, I think. You'll take it being the awesome person that you are. You should. Your name is Chuck Frickin' Norris. You should definitely take it. All right. So I have a feeling to make the coolant system, I'm going to have to find something I haven't found yet. So, okay. This should... Allow me to make navigator, beautiful. Filtration system, I have the filters. I think I can make this actually too. Okay, navigator. Beautiful. Um, filtration system. Or was that the one that was missing pieces that I thought I didn't have? Equipment, item. No, I have lycoplasma, so four filters, two titanium, so I should, all the filters I've been collecting, I should have been putting them in here. I have three. I need one more filter unless I've got one somewhere else. One more filter. So maybe the next place we'll find the last filter we need. Okay, is our filter in here? Gravity module, okay. All right. I hope I'm, I hope I'm not going to need all this refined metal. Do I have more in here? I do. So because I'm going to make one more, one more suitcases because it's just the only freaking storage we have. You're not just awesome. You're Chuck freaking Norris awesome. Right. All right. Put that down there. Throw more crap in here. This guy. All right, let's uh, pick up as much stuff off the ground as we can so we have less junk just lying around. It's really hard not to just be constantly doing, uh, you know, inventory management simulator in this game. Need that guy. Because there's just so much junk in the game. Okay, that will probably fill this up. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, I don't see another filter in here, right? I don't think so. So the battery in here, that's probably one of the more useful things. This, this, this. Okay, so I think we've gotten what we need from here. I just need... Examine the unknown module. There's nothing else he here in this place. So I need one more filter, I believe, to make the filtration system. Uh, guess who woke up really late and got told off by his eight-year-old to get their crap together? <laughs> All right, Plunder Pig, nice. Cool story, bro. <laughs> All right, we got a dead cow symbol over here. Let's go see what's in here. Well, good to see you, my friend. Glad you're here and that your eight-year-old has a potty mouth, I guess. <laughs> if I ever have kids, they ever have kids, they probably will too. If 
if I can't control my expletives. I didn't guess. My guess is that it's you. My guess is that it's somebody named Plunderpig. Did you hear the cover of the ACD song Thunderstruck called Plunderstruck? I have, I have not heard that. Sounds like a Weird Al song. All right, what do we got over here? What what is this place? Can I dock here or shoot stuff or what am I looking at here? I feel like I can't dock at this thing. I see cows. Um, I don't know what that is trying to tell me that's here. Am I supposed to actually do something with this? I can't get out over here, so if I can't dock with this, I feel like there's nothing I can interact with over here. What about this right here? There's a module. Tough one, I can't get out of my ship to explore stuff. Okay, it's just, just, just dead cows, I guess, is all this is. Alright, so where's the next place I can go? Where can we go? Looks like maybe over here. Ran logic. I don't know what it is. Let's shoot at it. You know, that's like all I can do, so. I feel no guilt. I do live in Texas, after all, right? That's, that's the stereotype of Texas. We have guns, so we just shoot, shoot things. Shoot first, ask questions later. There you go. America. Proud to be an American, where at least I shoot stuff free. Won't forget the man who died. Let me shoot more stuff. Okay, can I get in here? Uh, is that a turret? I think that's a turret that I'm going to have to fight. Over Watch here. I see. Can I shoot these turrets? I see the source of the light. Okay, I can shoot those. Nice. That took a lot of shots, or I was missing a lot. Probably the second one. This thing is friggin' hard to aim, by the way. There we go. Shoot first, who cares about question? That's right. If you shoot first, you don't even need to ask the questions. There we go. And I think there were a couple more over here, if I'm not mistaken, or did I get all the turrets? Let's see. Oh, here's one. Go right up next to it, shoot in the face. Gotcha. Okay, I think that might be all those turrets. So I think I could maybe dock over here, maybe? Maybe, maybe? Seem to have a range limiter. I don't think there's a limit to the range, but I just don't think I was actually hitting it earlier. Is this a dock? Yes, it is. Shoot first like Han. There you go. All right, so I've made the control unit. I've made the navigator. I just need to make, I think, the filtration system, which I think only requires one more filter. I made the cooling unit already. And I made... I haven't made the anti-asteroid protection. This is... I need microplasm, which I don't know what that is. I haven't found that yet. But I just need one more filter, and I can make this thing. So, okay, that's what we're looking for. A filter and... 
Whatever the H uh, microplasm is. McClunky? What is McClunky? Whoa, laggy. That's what that is. Okay. What is that? We won't find any survivors here either. Food. Dead bodies. Dead. Um. I mean, can you? Can hey, coffins be door. dead? How unexpected. Ran Solo, Galactic Scoundrel, Unlovable Rogue. That's me. Haven't we found Lycoplasma to make the car? That's that's two different things. Um, there's Lycoplasma. Plasma. That says we need microplasm. It's two different words. That sound very similar. So it's not confusing at all. Uh, we used up all our light bulbs, so I should take extra light bulbs that I see. Gravity module. I have a lot of gravity modules. Probably more than I need. This container seems familiar. Isn't it the capsule containing one of those ugly cow chicken hybrids that you irresponsibly launched to the surface of the planet? I hope it was empty already because there's no sign of the mutant itself. Okay. Uh-oh, is this the aliens? Now there's aliens out here gonna kill us? We launched some alien looking things earlier. So, I feel like I might need a gun. Don't bode well. Okay, dead bodies, uh, dismembered limbs. All right, this is, what is this? See, this is lycoplasma. I need microplasm, but I do have this. Okay. I can't imagine how hard the blow was. How, 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 what? Oh, you're talking about this, their head being gone. There are a lot of dead people in this game, that's for sure. Gravity module. It seems to be the only way to get to the military shuttles. I suggest we turn back and try to find a safer place to loot. Okay. Install anti-grav. Scan. Okay. Oh, where's my scanner here? New blueprint anti-grav. Okay. Going into the vents where there's probably aliens. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Um, is It's what Greedo says in the new, new version of Star Wars before Han Solo shoots him. What does he say? What? I, I got... Oh, McClunky. That's what he says. Gotcha. The fandom has been vigorously debating the meaning of McClunky. <laughs> Must be really rude because Han Stone Stone Cold kills him right after. It's the it's the you never knew that McClunky was the worst insult you could say in the Star Wars galaxy. McClunky. It's like son of a mother effing mother effer or something. It's what McClunky means. Uh okay, so anti grav. Good thing I've been getting all these get gravity modules, I guess. So gravity module times four. So there's four of those. Um, I needed a... Was it a generator or was it a compensator? It was a compensator, so I have that. Compensator, two batteries. No, I had a battery, not a generator, not a compensator. Battery. I feel like I had a compensator, actually. I did. Beautiful. Okay, and an inductor, which is, I think, a pretty easy thing to make. Yes, I can just make it nice. Were they killed by xenomorphs that maybe I launched? That's what he's saying. Um, we found a thing in the previous chapter that was... Um, it was a ship with a bunch of capsules with alien xenomorph-looking things inside of it, and we launched it to reduce... You know, some made-up crap we had to do. It was like to reduce radiation or something like that. I don't know why it reduced the radiation, but that's what we... That was the objective we had to do. Okay, I'm out of space again, so... Alright, let's see what an anti-grab does. Yeah, the suit told me not to think too hard about it. Yeah. 
Do you recommend doing just that, not thinking too hard about it? Well, if we're about to get attacked by uh, Xenomorphs, I might want to be prepared with my gun or something. That's only got four shots in it. It's actually funny that the fan baits... Is, is is that true, what you said during the Hermit, that the fandom has been vigorously debating the meaning of McClunky? <laughs> be really funny. Anti-grav installed. All right, let's go in. Now you face a fine under Clause 867A of the agreement for damaging the spacesuit with slime of an unknown origin. Okay, I'm not, I'm not controlling this at all. That's just a on-rails type of thing there. Xenomorphs don't kill people. Ah, kill people. These are the tracks of the survivors. It's a shame they are bloody. Okay. I mean, I'll just take one of each and eat them. I have so much food back at the thing. I will take alkali, though. And I'll take aluminum. Cool. Slime hanging from a ventilation shaft. Doors busted in. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be afraid of xenomorphs or the coffin people that have been killing people. Uh, maybe both. Why not both? Any of these doors open? Looks like no. More water that I'm full of. Okay, now tres fast travel back to the first chapter. Uh, no, I don't think so. I've detected some signs of an unknown infection on this body. Oh. Galactic regulation number six. You must take some samples. I must take some samples. So, all right, nasal swab sample. Uh. There is a chance that the death was due to a huge hole in his stomach, and there are no traces of infection besides common acne on his face. Still, it's better to be safe and send the sample to Earth. Otherwise, it might turn out like in 2020 with COVID-19. But only we will be the ones to blame. <laughs> with COVID-19. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, Jesus. Is that a booger on a nail? Yeah, something like that. By the way, random question. You might have a friend that will come and play some uh, BC, mainly on EU time, but would it be okay if you joined the guild and wanted to ask before mentioning to him? Of course. I mean... Shogi's the, the guild leader, but I'd, I'd love to have more people join us. Friends of friends or friends of us. But yeah, of course. I'd love to have them come join. Okay. Anything in this toilet? Nope. Okay. Shogi is the big cheese. He is of... What did the name of our uh, guild become? I forget. I was expecting it to be Chili Dog Gang and it ended up being something else, so... There was a massacre here. Strange egg. Okay. Well, I will not pick up the strange alien egg. Judging by the tangled footprints leading from the cabin, the mutant attacked these unfortunate fellows and got drunk on their blood, which had a lot of something alcohol containing in it. Okay. So he went that way. Got drunk on their blood. Cool. I have lots of cans of beef. Hopefully I'll have enough if I need them for anything. My inventory is getting pretty full again. I guess if I take metal, though, I can at least turn it into refined metal and make even more storage with it. So that's probably what I should have been doing the entire time. Jar opener. Okay. Cool. That's just more, you know, I can get more fabric there, but, you know, just I, I feel like I have... Overflowing with basically every resource. Lycoplasma, extra. I don't probably even need those navigation chips anymore. I have a feeling I'm done with those, but... Take them, because why not? Soul Society. That's the name of our guild. Yes. Couldn't remember that. Battery, yeah. Some Bleach anime vibes felt for, from that name. Yeah, that is... That, yeah, that does give Bleach vibes for sure. By the way, there's a chance that these are the only survivors besides us and your interlocutor with a strange accent. To be more precise, they were the only survivors until you launched a capsule with a mutant at them. Oh, so it's our fault that they're dead. They're, they're dead. Cool. Cool. Glad to know. We killed them by sending the xenomorphs here. Sounds good. I will take the tape as well. Okay. 
I do want, ooh, an in inductor or whatever the hell that's thing's called. Okay, so I want this, so now I want that. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have enough navigation chips. Please tell me I don't need another grav thing. Okay, good. What the? Oh! <laughs> okay. It's definitely the mutant from the capsule. I hope it won't be able to get in there and come after us, but we'd better get out of here. Oh, great. Of course. By the way, he found the shuttle. Uh, <laughs> All the shuttles are damaged. However, we only need their armor plate. Wonderful jump scare. Uh, not even vented the humans. What a waste of time. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wow. Yeah. This is actually the scariest thing we've... Been, uh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. It's close. Uh... Frickin' cheap scares, man. Cheap scares. Yeah, that was on rails. I couldn't control any of that. We can't get them from the outside. Maybe we can pick them off from the inside. Okay. And no, we won't be able to pick anything off from here. Great, cool. Um, do that to make room. Can I make anything here? No. I can rest though. Huh. Navigation chip soup nautica. Cool. Cool. I have plenty of lycoplasma. And here's the owner of the shuttle. Uh toy steering wheel. Extendo. Cool. Oh, oh, filter! This! This is the last filter I need. Cool. That'll now let me make my thing. Grabber required. Okay. Microplasm. That's what I needed. I need two of those, though. So microplasm and... So I need one more microplasm, and I think I can make all the pieces I've been looking for here. Uh, the fourth wall is now a fine, pasty material. Yes. The fourth wall has been chewed up, spit out, and... And, um, God. Itaki Hojima, I don't know what that is. Uh, paint, sure. And, uh, you know, ground under our feet. Um, I didn't check those other ships. Jesus. This is very Subnautica-like with the, uh, big, loud, scary monster noises. Can I actually examine this here? Oh, here we go. Looks like I might be able to get in on this side. Giggity, that's what she said? That's what he said? Uh, Maybe I, I don't know that I can get in there. Actually. Okay, I don't know what the fist means. Hopefully it doesn't mean I have to fight an alien. I'm going to get out my other gun, because I have one that's almost out of bullets. And one that's got a full ammo supply. Great scaling in this game. You feel really small at sometimes? Yes. I'm going to go back. Because I have a feeling I might have should have checked one or both of these other ships. Because I need one more microplasm. If I go close to the ventilation shafts, is that where the guys are going to come from? Looks like I can't go through there. Okay. Okay, this one looks like an empty shell. I get another filter. I feel like I don't need any more. But I should probably take an extra just in case. So let's drop something. One, two, three, four... And then I need, uh, what do I need to get that out? It is a repair tool is what I need. Okay. I like how the audio is from Quake's jump sound. The audio is from Quake's jump sound. That I don't know. Okay. 
What audio? His jumping is from Quake or something? Okay, I guess I can't get into this one, so... Didn't miss much. Just a filter that I, I think I had enough of already. Assume those are all un get in a bowl. The uh, alien attacking me, the xenomorph, is probably another on rails thing. Unless I actually have to shoot the thing and fight it, which would be honestly pretty terrifying. The quake guy, when he makes jumps, make a grunting no noise. This guy does it too, you think? Okay. When I'm jumping, he's making this breathing sound, but... These sounds aren't good. Okay. All right, well, we're going towards where we're supposed to go, and this is where it's probably going to trigger Looks more jump scares. Panel for the jack. Okay. Control panel for the jack. There it is. An armor plate that we can use to close the hole in the core. They haven't fully welded it. You need to tear off the brackets and lower the jack. Tear off the brackets. Is it shooting them? Can I hit it? Okay, I think this is... Yeah, okay. Well, I... Good thing I brought an extra gun. I hope I have enough shots is the thing. And hopefully I don't need to use the gun against the xenomorphs. God. I have four shots left. If I didn't have an extra gun, I couldn't have done this. And I don't know if there's a place to build around here. So that was... Lucky, I guess. Oh, jeez. Oh, is it going to fall on him? Yeah, okay. <laughs> the weight of the plate was more than 900 kilos. Maybe we should take a closer look at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Xenomorph, you know, uh, bad day for you, I guess. Just just a bad day. Judging by the remains of the mutant, the plate is really heavy. Are you sure you can't carry it? It doesn't look like we can carry it. Strength required 900. <laughs> Other game. You don't have any strength at all. It's time to go back. I hope it was the only one here. Okay. So I was supposed to get this armor, and we couldn't, and it fell and killed a xenomorph. Cool. Um. It'd still be really nice if we could find one more of those things. But I'd probably have to find it somewhere else. Egg tube. Cool. Aluminum, so dark. Um, I'm gonna guess I have to find that, whatever it's called, microplasm somewhere else. You love the ridiculous humor of this game? I knew there'd be some people who love it. To me, it's ridiculous and goofy and I don't love it, but <laughs> sometimes it does make me laugh. Very rarely it makes me laugh. Um, let's see. Let's take one extra paint. Yeah, okay. And that was pretty funny, honestly. Okay, can't go in there. Alright, so I think we probably just go out this way. Where this thing fell down. Can't go out of here, can I? Nope. Okay. Plastic. I don't know what this monster would have done to us if it had caught up with us, but did you see its terrible animation? I've never seen anything like it. It's definitely the most creepy creature in the universe. Are we gonna have another one drop down on us? Probably. For the lols. For the trolls and the jump scares. Yeah, I'm full up on inventory space. Can't go that way. Titanium. 
be honest, these stupid nice speeches of the suit kept you playing, but you're more of a story guy, so maybe that's why. Well, yeah, and I'm the opposite. I am much more a gameplay guy, so the ridiculous narration is the thing that I have to force myself through to play the stuff I actually enjoy. Uh, rubber. Thankfully, the gameplay is a lot of fun, and that's what's keeping me playing it. Now I can get back out. That we get out of here as soon as possible. We can't install any armor plate. We can't steal any shuttles. So we have nothing else to do here. That was a complete pointless thing to do here. Although we did get one thing that we needed. Oh, actually, a couple things. While we were running from the monster, someone patched up our hole and put armor plates on the hole. Probably it's the local repair team who worked on it when they noticed the identification marks on Captain Shepard's ship. So it turns out that we could have stayed in the shuttle all this time. Oh, man. So trolly and totally not expected. Um, so I need to install the, uh, filtration system now, right? Or did I already do that? No, I think I was missing one filter. So I should now have the filters be able to do this. And I need to make another storage thing. Can I fit anything in here? Yes, let's throw this metal in here for now. Actually, lycoplasm, plasma, light bulb. That should be enough to make another of these guys. Okay. Okay, let's do this and store more crap. Yes, I wanted to install it and then immediately pick it up. That's what I wanted to do. This, right click, there we go. Okay, throw junk in here. Nasal swab sample because I assume that's another reference to alien. Alien, aliens, whatever. All right, so one more filtration thing. There we go. So now with these filters, I should be able to make... Uh, ba doop ba doop ba doop Filtration system. So two titanium, two alkali, and lyco lycoplasm. Two titanium, two alkali, lycoplasma. So you got lycoplasma, and then you have... Where's the microplasm I picked up? I picked up a microplasm, and I don't know where it is. Probably just threw it somewhere. How dare you call it junk? It's stuff. <laughs> My bad. You're right. I should I should clarify. See, this takes microplasm, whereas the thing we just made takes lycoplasma. Um, lycoplasma, are you in here? Looking for something. Microplasm. Okay, this thing right here. I'm going to put this in here because this is where I'm kind of putting important stuff. Damn it, I just threw it on the ground. That's not what I meant to do. There. Okay, this, this, this. Okay, cool. So we have actually all of our pieces made now, I think. So I've installed that. I don't know how do I upgrade this part. I installed that already. I don't know where I would install that other piece it's telling me I need to make. I think that's like the asteroid protection unit or something. But all right, let me save here. And before we take a break, I think we have time to explore one more area. So the anti-asteroid protection is the last place we need to go, I believe. So, that's the repair place. That's the dead cows. I don't know why there are dead cows there. So, I think it's this last one over here we need to head to. I do like how my shuttle weapons leveled up as I killed stuff. That was honestly pretty cool. First, I wasn't digging the fighting stuff, but then our weapons got slowly stronger. I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome. Fighting those robots. But all the crap I get this game for the story, I, I have to equally commend it for the visuals being pretty glorious. I mean, just anytime you're out in space, it's just gorgeous. Combat station. All right, let's go deal with this guy. Cough, co combat. Coffin bot station. There's a very weak signal coming from here. I can't make it out exactly, but it seems like a call for all survivors to gather at this point. Apparently, the survivors... Sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's another 
problem with the guy talking. He was in the middle of talking, and then he overwrote somebody else talking, and then it got interrupted by us triggering something else. Like, it's just the, the dialogue is too much, I feel like. Golly, there's a lot of coffin bots. Okay. So he didn't even finish what he's saying, which he interrupted another person to talk. <laughs> All right, nice. Got those guys. All right. Is that all the coffin bots? I think that's all of them. Where was that station that we just killed right here? Okay. Looks like my weapons must be max level. Level three seems to be the highest, possibly. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to the question mark, which is... Where is it? It's over this way. There we go. And we got some turrets we need to kill over here, looks like. And kill all the turrets off before I go to the, where we can dock. Well, I'm going to assume that's where we dock. Somewhere over there. Oh, I see more coffin bots flying around, though. Wait a oh. second. This is the liner's bow docking airlock for its crew. If there's at least one shuttle left here, we can try to get the friend or foe system to the diagnostic station mentioned. That is, if we determine what this system looks like. Come here, coffin bots. I got a laser blaster for your face. Get blasted. I see you, turret. I see you. And I killed you. Okay, so we got more turrets over there. One down. There we go. Is this the docking station right here? This is docking. Um, I feel like I want to clear out other stuff before I dock this. You gonna step away to get breakfast? Come back, Rand's blasting. Always, you know it. Okay, all right, got that one. Now, what is this little fist I'm seeing here? I'm gonna guess I need to go inside for this. Yeah, I probably need to go inside for that. I think I got all the turrets, though. All right. Opposition neutralized. What does the armor plating supposed to do? Um, I don't know, but I'm supposed to get anti asteroid protection, too, so I guess maybe to fly a bit from this area to our starting area, we have to have. Defense for asteroids and the armor plating protects us while the guns shoot them down Your guess is as good as mine because of how you know not paying attention. I am being That sentence didn't make much sense, but you know what I mean All right, so the last thing we need to make is This, so, magnet inductor, compensator, that all stuff we have, it's just one microplasm that we're missing. So that's what we're looking for, one microplasm. Should I get, uh, this tool is almost done. What's my grabber and repair looking? They're both pretty low durability, but we can get one thing of each, looks like. So just linear story progression? Currently, yes. It's not completely linear, because we could have chosen... Uh, we could have chosen which place we went to, so it's an illusion of open world, I guess, right now. Okay, cow mask. Cool. All right. Launch of junk floating over here. Oh, so many corpses. So many corpses. Hey, they had a space car too. So many corpses. What does it say? Space is not a dump. Okay. 
Got a sign. Cows are flat. Okay. <laughs> Great sign. All these dead people. We demand compliance with the laws of physics. Cool. You guess chat is quotes now? Yeah, when plunder pigs around, it often devolves. <laughs> These, like I said earlier, the spiritual successor to Clamondale. Hold a protest here, although it's unclear what the liner's crew had to do with cows. In any case, the employees have sealed the module hermetically, and we can't get in there easily now. Okay. Oh, you're looking for a specific quote, the one that says, I hate math, gotcha. Okay. Oh, we have plenty of, I think, uh, I guess I'll take the rubber. I don't need any more gravity modules. I'm pretty sure I got lots of those. Stop. There's something wrong here. While the activists were waving their signs outside, inside there was a fight between the liner's crew and the coffins. However, almost all of them were killed by some third party. Okay. Some third party. I'll get my gun out. Coffins versus humans, and they all died to me. Uh, dead body falling out of a coffin. Don't need any more navigation ships they either. I don't think. They destroyed the repair robots and brutally removed some important parts from them too. Okay. We can't open these doors without. Examine a thing. Pity because the model looks very good. Maybe the devs, devs could sell it to somebody. Okay. Maybe it's for the best. All right. So, okay. Uh, yes, I'll extract this with a rubber. No, that's not right. Magnetic master key. Go. Again, I think I have all I need of that. It's only the, what is it that I need? The mag... Microplasm, I think is what it's called. Okay. Which I think needed a grabber tool to get out when I got the other one. Anything else I can do here? It looks like no. I'm just too good of a philosopher. Too many quotes. That's right. <laughs> no, it's more like I just say so much random crap. You can't find the specific piece of crap you're looking for. Cannot find the specific piece of crap that's come out of my uh, mouth. A blueprint for special equipment. All right, let's go build special equipment to open it, which is probably going to be a troll of me banging on the door and the walls fall down or something. Isn't that what a philosopher is? Somebody who just keeps spouting crap? Okay, sure. Sounds about right. Not being a philosopher, I uh, am not familiar with what they do. Or maybe I'm an accidental philosopher, like I'm an accidental poet sometimes. That is out of there. Yeah, so none of these doors open, so there's nothing we can get from the sides here. Just kidding, some philosophers have been pretty clever. It's okay, nobody here will judge you for making fun of philosophers. At least, I won't. Okay, tool, special equipment. Every self-respecting hero has a similar universal key to all doors. I've seen it in the movies. I have a slight doubt that this will work, but even the spacesuit has no other ideas on how to open the armored door. So thick electrical tape. I can make one. And then I know I have more somewhere here. Make it with that. Okay. And tool, special equipment. That was just like a lock pick on a stick or something. Who knows, whatever the hell this thing's supposed to be. More random crap. All right, uh, special equipment. It's a stick with a... Pfft. Yeah, it's a stick with a paper clip at the end of it.
if the devs ever uh, were serious about their game, you could tell that they certainly stopped being serious pretty quickly about their game. What am I talking about? I, the devs were never serious about this game, it seems like. Or at least about the uh, objectives that you do. All right, let's see how this special tool works. Signals the surviving shuttle of the liner's crew is right ahead, but the voice in the distance is troubling me. Okay, get a blaster out. That sounded like the voice of. What the? This is clearly not an ordinary police robot. The Whoa! Robots have done something wrong to it. Big boss. Defeat the robot. Really? Okay. All right. I have four shots in my gun. I have a feeling. This might not be enough. Peace violation. Leave the unlawful assembly. It's aggressive too. I recommend that you shamefully flee. Wait a second. Do you see this voltage discharge control lever? That huge robot is standing right on a discharge platform, and I'm sure it won't be pleased by an electric shock of 10,000 volts. The discharger is about to fire. Act of aggression. Act of aggression. Anti-terrorist mode activated. Anti-terrorist mo terrorist mode. Okay. You are under arrest. Proceeding with execution. Okay. This is not how it usually works in boss battles. Wow, subverting expectations. This seems to be its weak spot, like any irons or toasters, for example. Okay, there's a lot of turrets, and I don't have uh much in the way of guns. What is this? Am I supposed to shoot this? Oh, pull out. Giggity, it says. Power turned off. Okay. Unlock no power. Backup power activated. <laughs> of course. Of course there's backup power. We need to break them to disable the police robot. Uh reloading. That narrative is kind of meh. <laughs> Just now deciding that? You must not have watched the rest of this playthrough. All right, destroy batteries here. You must be new to the goofiness of this game, by boy. This is this is what this entire game has been. This entire game has just been chock full of the ridiculousness like this. Ouch! Such riveting uh, gameplay. <laughs> All right, one last thing here. All right, go here. Reloading. Stay where you are. Rechargement, it says up there. Rechargement. Starting maximum performance. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. How can it be? I've watched hundreds of movies and video games. It always works. Attention! Overload. I'm a machine. I'm strong. Overload. Oh, it looks like it broke down. That went exactly according to my plan. All right. Wonderful. Okay. Hope we get back to the more fun stuff. Me too. I want to build stuff again. <laughs> I want to get back to our starting place so I can build more base. I hope we find the friend or foe system and that it'll take a long time for us to hack it. My process is vibrating from the thought. It's blocked from the inside. Okay. Can I... Hit it to open it. Looks like yes, I can. Okay. Hack the spaceship system. First of all, can I grab her tool, the last piece I need from here? That's what I'm looking for. Uh, boo -boo -boo -boo. Let's see here. Because last time I was able to get it from... Not the filter. Yes! There it is, microplasm. We got what we needed. Um, I don't need any more filters, but you know what? I'll extract this just because... Uh, what is it? Repair tool I think I needed for this. Cool. I almost wonder if there's a way you could fight that boss with guns and shoot it, and you get an achievement for bidding it that way or something. So, let's start. What we need is... No, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Check the box to your left. 
Oh, that's the thing I already got. Okay. This one? The thing that I already took. So, yeah. I really came for this. The joke was this thing, I guess. So, okay. So, we got what we need. We got what we need. You got what I need. Can I heal again? Yes. Okay. Why is it still telling me to do this? Like, I... Is it because I did it in the wrong order? Is it now going to tell me... I have what I need, so I feel like I don't need to do this. But let me just check and make sure. Is it pointing me towards... License plate. What? The cruise correspondence, the friend or foe system is just certain license plates on the shuttles. But if the plate is unreadable, the system freezes and doesn't detect the shuttle. So this is the multi-billion dollar protection system of the liner? The diagnostic station knew about this vulnerability and it couldn't just tell us to cover our license plate with a piece of paper? I suggest we go back and burn all its circuits. I would okay. be now if it weren't for one thing. It turns out this shuttle is fully functional. I just need some time to break into its control system. While I'm busy, you just don't touch anything. Better yet, try assembling a jigsaw puzzle, for example. Assemble a... Okay. Well, I'm going to go back and build the thing I actually need to do. So, um... Cool. Let's go do that. Yeah, I had to take a license plate to trigger more ridiculous story and ridiculousness and goofiness. Um, so now I should be able to make the anti-asteroid protection. I don't... <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to... Assemble a jigsaw puzzle. Go, go... Talk amongst yourselves. Go do something that's not important while I do the important stuff. Pretty sure I'm done with all... Not electronics, but like navigation parts and... Yeah, nav navigation chips and gravity modules. I'm pretty sure I'm done with all that. So now let's just make the... Um, Anti-asteroid protection. And then hopefully... That's now telling me. Do I need to go back there again? Hopefully after I make this thing... I don't know. But I don't, there's probably a trigger to make a jigsaw puzzle or something back there. Something equally ridiculous. And the save lag. Okay. Okay, so... Um, what do I need for this thing again? Inductor, compensator to microplasm. So there's the inductor. Uh, microplasma, put it in here there. And then compensator was the last thing I think it said. Compensator. Do I have another one of those? I thought I had one earlier. Beautiful. You guess the game just ditches the breathing mechanic as it doesn't care anymore? Well, since we're not in space, yeah. I assume once we get back to exploring stuff, it maybe will, I don't know, be a thing again. Ah, it goes inside there. Okay. So it looks like the last thing I need to do actually is whatever this is over here, which is assemble a jigsaw puzzle or something stupid. So <laughs> let's go see what we need to do to assemble a jigsaw puzzle. The license plate. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do here. And this should... We, we got all the upgrades for the ship, so I'm hoping this will allow us to go back to our starting place where our base is. Where, you know, I spent all that time building a space car and everything. Alright, let's see what we gotta do over here now. It'll probably be a jigsaw puzzle that's in the shape of a penis or something. That would be my guess from the previous experience of the random crap they make you do in this game. <laughs> oh, it's this strangely phallic looking, this thing that they made us build. I'd never ex have expected that. This one looks like boobs. Alright, let's see what we got here. More metal floating, I'm just... Kind of not picking it up because I think we have enough. All right. 
Jigsaw puzzle. Right. Great. Now just sit here. Hacking the it's a frog. Oh. So I'll have to turn off for a few seconds. <laughs> or press anything. Why am I why is my guy so stupid? <laughs> oh, All right, I'm back. oh, that's so ridiculous. I to you that, uh, 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 us. Let's get out of here. Everything's on fire. You for only three seconds. You were just assembling a jigsaw puzzle. There was nothing dangerous there. But I we were so uh, never mind. All right. Sadly, we can't use this ship because we blew say. it up. We'd better get back to Normandy. I hope the okay. license plate will really help us bypass the security systems. All right. Well, we set ourselves on fire for some reason. While wow. <laughs> assembling a jigsaw puzzle. God. What did I do? Um... You know, I got really mad at the jigsaw puzzle because I couldn't get the corner piece to go in the non-corner piece. How? How did you do it? So I set the ship on fire. Did you pull the wiring? Did you learn how to shoot laser beams out of your eyes? I don't understand how this is possible at all. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. I also don't understand why someone would create a security system that could be easily bypassed by dirty license plates. Unless the genius who infected the police robot with HAIV was the chief engineer of the liner. Actually, it would explain a lot. What did I do? My first mistake was playing this game. That's That was my first mistake. Second mistake was to continue playing this game. And that just caused everything to get, catch on fire. You know, I knew I knew it was a mistake. By the just way, knew it. No physical license plate on Normandy, although there is a digital one, which is usually requested at any security check. I think I can replace a couple of characters with asterisks. And let's hope the friend or foe system doesn't care what kind of plate we have on the shuttle. Okay. All right, cool. Um, all right, let's go back, maybe. Save the game. Oh god, there's a lot of... Didn't I kill you guys earlier? I guess you respawn or something. Time for more coffin killing. Okay. Ouch. I ran into an asteroid, I guess. It is nice that we got to kill these coffin dudes, though. Makes me feel better about my life. To kill some crap. Do I have to shoot them? Uh, they attack me, so if I don't shoot them, I have to have use very... Good evasive maneuvers to not die. I hope the unreadable number will really help. Okay. Let me guess. It's not gonna work and I'm just gonna have to kill all these turrets. That's my guess. It works. The security system keeps sending us the request, but it's not taking any action. Great. Cool. So many here? Okay. I can't tell what part of the ship this is. There's something going on here. All my sensors are registering an incredible electrical activity. This is really, really cool looking with that star in the background. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I feel like this entire part of the game was an excuse to, uh, I think that guy crashed into the asteroid there. For this, to be able to do this gun shooting part of the game. <laughs> That's what it feels like. This entire part of the game is excuse just to get us, let us do some uh, TIE fighter type stuff. Oh, those are giant guns. I don't want to fight those. Okay, I'm going to save and try to shoot this and see if that does anything. Can I shoot this thing? Looks like that does nothing. The giant guns are immune, I guess. Okay. Alright, trying to find... Where was it? Oh my god, am I like right on top of it? Right over here, this is what I'm looking for. Great kid, don't get khaki! <laughs> I did it! I got one! Just we find a place to dock and look around. 
What an old communication spaceship. It's the same age as the debris at the station with breath edge cores. The service airlock, it's intact. This is the liner's debris for sure, but I can't identify it. Okay. Let's clear out our inventory because we will probably fill it up again. Do, 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 do. Okay. What do we got? What's going on in here? Another closed door. How original. I think they could have come up with something more interesting than that. Saw. Uh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Find a friendly fist. <laughs> what the? I take my words back. I wish it was another closed door. Ugh. Enough with this originality. All right, more cores. Oh, lag. Okay, save. I guess we trigger save. The accelerating station is connected directly with those wires, or with these ones. But it definitely is connected, which means you can restore the power supply. Uh, Apparently, I'm not even sure what I'm doing anymore. Someone killed them all. Just going from station to station, collecting resources. What am I even doing with my life? Getting so much stuff that my inventory is full again is what we're doing. What an impressive size of this hall. I assume that we are in the classified modules of the liner that belong to its central core. Only the chosen ones like your grandfather could admire them. My grandfather was a chosen one. Cool. All right. I expect to get to the end of this game and it'd be like, everything was a, just a dream and it was all pointless and why did you spend 30 hours doing this? <laughs> he was chosen by dying. That's right. I have so much lycoplasm. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I think... If, okay. Hopefully like I need a gun. Or malfunctioning, maybe? This is what they're doing? They're just sitting there shooting stuff all day? What's the equipment? I can't say for certain what it is, but it looks like some old data process with basic artificial intelligence. Alright, can I turn this off? I can turn it off by bashing it with a hammer. Cool. Okay. It's likely the coffins unplugged the accelerating station. Plug this thing in instead and try to. I have no idea what they were trying. We just need to plug in the accelerating station. Okay. I don't think I care about any of this stuff. Okay. Resin, we have resin. I think we have most resources. There's probably nothing else we really even need to get. It looks like there's a powerful, deadly, and unstable power source behind We'll take a generator, though. Need to get in there, of course. Compensator, sure. I don't want to panic, but we can't open these gates unless I find a loophole in their locking system. Don't worry. I don't even pay attention to what you're saying. I will never panic. You don't have to worry about that. That was this green thing. Scan. Oh, do 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 do. Okay, scan it. Proof Mechanical action isn't possible. What's this guy say? SOS. Judging by the encoding, there's a high-pressure hydraulic drive system built in here. We won't be able to move the doors apart. Was this just gonna go through all the, the tools we can't use? Hacking time is two million years. At least six layers of a sixth class durability alloy. My sensors can't get any deeper than that. Oh my god. Okay. All right. And here's its weak spot. Well, compared to the rest of the solid mass of the door, if we try very hard, we can leave quite a decent dent here in a couple of years. Probably. I think now I understand how these gates work. We need to check the central locking valve. 
Yes, I figured out how to open it. For starters, we need three live hamsters, two electrical tapes, a bottle, a grenade, about 20 kilograms of metal. All right, and we just press the button and it works, right? Or rather, part of a paint spray can and some small iron balls, only two or three hundred of them. Oh my god, this guy. Will you ever stop talking? Jeez. We knock on the door. Is that what happens? Okay, well that's pretty cool looking though. Why is there a door on a secret and protected object that you can just Ooh. Forget about the door. I can't believe it. This is an additional small core of the liner unnamed. It's still working. Unbelievable. It's beautiful. What is it? Looks like a giant thermal detonator. Uh, okay. It seems that this coffin destroyed all the others. Oh. I on rails it. no it can't be but the signal was lost how is this even possible is it my granddad still there's no doubt it's definitely him grandpa, grandpa. no Your relative died in a battle with other coffins i don't understand anything anymore i know it's not easy but we need to check him out <laughs> examine grandpa's coffin wow okay uh, how do I, how do I examine this? Here, examine. My dear man, if you're reading this now, it means that I didn't succeed. But you noticed my note on the fridge, <laughs> or on the mirror, or in the corridor, or on the dresser, or on your forehead. I'm sorry, I tried to leave them everywhere possible. Okay. You must stop the flight of the liner ASAP. I've been working as an engineer at the Scientific Research Institute of Space Development for nearly 58 years. And in the last several years, we have been fulfilling orders for the Breath Edge Funerary Agency. I haven't told you much about my work. I'm so sorry. But it's not that important right now. Definitely a better voice than the other guy, that's for sure. The agency was making odd requests, and I conducted my own investigation. Now I'm sure they're not who they say they are. Breath Edge is perhaps the biggest and most dangerous fraud in human history. Oh my god. Let's take this recording and our chicken to Boris Gromov. You do remember my old friend at the investigation department, don't you? Today I'll try to get closer to them. I need hard evidence. I love you, Grandpa. And don't forget to feed the chicken. She is the key. Breath Edge? No, I don't understand. So all of this could have been avoided if you had at least washed your face? I... I... I don't know what to say. Okay, yeah, me neither. The main thing is that your grandpa knew something about the coffins, the disaster, and the company that created me. I'll try to decipher the tape and wait in case you want to bury your relative. <laughs> bury my relative. Yep, that's I'm gonna get right... Bury grandpa. Okay, I have no idea what else is going to happen, but we've been going for a little over two hours, so uh, I'm going to I'm gonna save. I'm going to stand up, stretch, use the restroom, take one quick break real quick. I don't know if we're, like, coming to the end of this game. I thought we were going to get to go back to our base. I don't know, but real quick, stand up, stretch, break. When I come back, we will see what else happens in this ridiculous game. I'll see you in just a bit, my friends. Y'all rock.